Economic growth and wealth. People in industrial nations around the world profit greatly as a result, but in other parts of the world it makes life for some impossible. Climate change is accelerating desertification and flooding, driven largely by emissions in industrial countries. This accusation is leveled not only by those countries hit by the climate disasters, there are also people who are prepared to say it in industrial societies like Germany, such as the climate scientists at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Research. The problem is that rich countries in particular, who are largely responsible for the emissions that drive climate change, will not be as hard hit by the effects as many of the poorer countries who have contributed very little so far to climate change, but who are certainly confronted with the consequences. Scientists also point out that the consequences are not simply ecological, they also affect the stability of the societies in question and thus global security. Starvation and disease caused by droughts and floods spark new waves of refugees and unrest. The German Foreign Ministry takes these concerns seriously, says Victor Elbling, section head for economics and sustainable development. Wir müssen uns bewusst werden, dass der Klimawandel we should be aware that climate change will have an impact on security, that is, for the stability of countries and regions, and we can support this learning process through different types of dialogue, through conferences, through workshops, where we use facts to explain what's going on. The link between climate change and security was not just the focus of the German government during its membership of the UN Security Council in 2011 and 2012, it's also pushing the topic in Europe. We made sure that the issue of climate and security is on the table at the European Council of Foreign Ministers, and that's why we want to mobilize Europe on this. As well as raising awareness and ongoing political work, the affected regions need aid. Germany is increasingly supplying expertise in the areas of training and technology, for example, sustainable energy generation. Germany's own energy revolution is also a clear contribution to limiting the consequences of climate change. We don't know precisely how severe those consequences will be. We're trying to find out. But if we wait for too long, it will be too late. In three or four decades, we will no longer be able to react and change. So there are no alternatives. If the world wants peace, the world must accept joint responsibility for climate change.